I interviewed retired Air Force Colonel Leroy Stutz. He was a Vietnam prisoner of war for over six years. <laughs> Shot down uh, 25 miles north of Hanoi on December 2nd, 1966, taken into captivity and was held there for 2,284 days. This is how much he loved the Air Force. So even after he was shot down, uh, repatriated after those six years, wanted to go fly again, but because of all of his sustained injuries, could not. So then was, I guess, retrained um, and became a commander for maintenance. And that's how he retired out of the Air Force, was as a maintenance commander. And now he's in Oklahoma City with his wife. And they've been there ever since his retirement. It was a, it was a really valuable uh, experience getting to go out and, and meet Colonel Stutz and his wife, Karen. Uh, he also had the I Love Me room that we got to go in and see not only all of his accolades of a, a 30 year Air Force career, but you know, he was bringing out, I mean, he still, he was given the pajamas uh, that he wore while in captivity. So he showed us his pajamas. He showed us um, the small, it wasn't tin, but almost like a stone cup that he was able to take home or snuck home um, that he was drinking and eating out of. Um, so kind of surreal to hear the stories of, you know, the cup that he would use for six years in captivity and now is just sitting on his uh, desk shelf. I think probably what left the greatest impression was his fortitude and resiliency in that, you know, one of the questions I had asked him was, how did you how do you prepare? Because this is now 10 years into the Vietnam War. So the pilots are knowledgeable and very threat aware, um, the likelihood of getting shot down and becoming a prisoner of war. And I was like, how did you mentally prepare? And it was, he was like, well, there was a job to do and we just did it.